All right, I'm going to be honest. I don't know how many of my viewers and you guys actually even watch this, this show at all, but I do. And I just saw this happen, and I just I need to talk about it. Okay, it's kind of relevant to what I talk about in general anyway, so I want to talk about it, and I want to get a nice quick video out here. I probably won't even talk about this show again, but you guys have probably at least heard about the, the reality television series, the competition show, uh, Survivor on CBS, and I've watched it for many years now. I've watched all these different seasons. It's been a really fun show to watch, you know, just to kind of get away and uh, just kind of watch these people go and do this different type of, you know, competition on the island and... Uh, as the, the, you know, the title of the show is Survive, Survivor. Uh, so it's been a pretty fun show to watch, honestly. It's been it's been great. I love watching the show up until recently. And uh, I've recently noticed it in the past few seasons. And the show has come back. The show came back on its 40 fi 41st season, uh, which is a lot of seasons. It's been on since 2000. So it's been on for over 20 years now. And the show is finally back after, you know, the whole pandemic and everything. And they're entering their new era. They're, they are declaring. And I immediately got, I got turned off about halfway through the premiere. Halfway through the premiere, I said, fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. And I've been watching this show for many years now. I, I really, really love what this show was. And I say what this show was. Because now this show, which is not too surprising because honestly, this these types of shows would probably go before... Uh, maybe an entertainment media and like actual franchises like things like Star Wars and uh, Doctor Who and Marvel, things like that. This is more just reality television type of thing, but it still just really irks me and you could just see how ridiculous it is, be it is beginning to get. So Survivor host Jeff Probst stops using the phrase, come on in guys, after 40 seasons to be more inclusive. Now, if you don't know what this means at all, uh, this quote right here, come on in guys. Uh, Jeff Probst, he's been saying this famous quote and phrase now for 40 seasons of Survivor. And Survivor, every time they would have the people in the competition come in to do some sort of challenge to advance their team and advance their tribe, they call them, uh, they would, you know, you would just call them in. He would call it, it's like the famous phrase of his now. He would call the teams in and he would get the challenge started. He'd say, come on in guys. That is literally what he says. You know, it's a famous little quote he would say. But now... They made a problem with something that wasn't a problem at all. It wasn't a problem at all. But now it is because they felt like they needed to add some fucking points to their damn checkbook and say, all right, you know what? Look at this famous quote that everyone loves, you know? Uh, if you watch Survivor, you know this, you know his famous saying when they, you know, bring in the teams, they say, come in, come on in, guys. Well, now, the, the word guys is offensive. It is not inclusive enough anymore because apparently, you know, as the term guys over the years has become like an extremely gender neutral type of phrase. You, you can literally say, come here, guys, come here, guys, uh, to literally anybody anymore. It's like saying dude to someone now, honestly, that's kind of how, you know, language has kind of evolved and that's just how it is. And nobody, nobody left. I've literally seen nobody complain about this until the show itself brings this up. And yes, I'm a little heated on this because I myself just finished watching this and uh, I, I literally don't, I can't even tell you what happened in the last half of that premiere episode for season 41. I cannot tell you what happened. It just fucking bored the hell out of me after that. I didn't know what the hell I was watching, but I was really excited for this show to come back and then they come in with some extremely, extremely woke identity politics bullshit. So let's read here real quick, kind of some of the things I highlighted here. Uh, during the Survivor P Fiji premiere, uh, Survivor... Jeff Probst said he was done saying, come on in, guys. Survivor host Jeff Probst kicked off its season 41 on Wednesday by nixing one of its most used phrases. The host, who's been saying, come on in, guys, for 20 years, asked how the players felt about the gendered phrase eventually, and eventually agreed to it was time to retire it. It's not a gendered phrase until you made it one. He says, I want to change it, Probst said. I'm glad this was the last time I will ever have to say it. Probst also challenged people watching at home to say, ah, he caved to tweet at him, adding, I'll probably never read it anyways. If you're saying that, you mean you, that means you've already seen things like that, so it means you read things like that already. But you know, I mean, whatever. Uh, I don't give a fuck. Fuck you, Jeff Probst. I don't give a fuck what you gotta say. I don't really have too much desire to watch your show anymore. Uh, since I've been watching so long, I don't know if I'm gonna go forward yet. I still haven't really made my mind up. But either way, this really, really pissed me off. It just really, really irritated me because I'm just so sick of it, like infiltrating everything I watch. And this is not a show I really thought I would cover, 
on this channel. And I probably won't cover this show really anymore on this channel either, but I really wanted to bring this up because uh, it's infecting everything. You guys need to find alternative media. Uh, literally the term guys saying, come here guys, come here guys, come, in, in, come on in guys, you know. Uh, that is now a gendered offensive term and it is no longer allowed in the year of 2021. We are at that point now. That is where we are at. And that is fucking ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I cannot believe where we are at. Like, I, I, I can't I can believe where we're at because we've seen this so many times. But it's just it's it's just so irritating to watch. And this is just like another level of bad from this show. I've seen more woke bullshit from their show in the past and I've kind of overlooked it because overall it's been okay. But this is like another level now. Like this this season that they started out, the first episode, it's like every single minute they have to implement these identity politics and this absolute stupid, ridiculous stuff that I just I cannot. It's so unwatchable now. It is beyond unwatchable, and they're they're literally going to lose viewership. I, I honestly I, I really believe they will. Uh, this is going to turn a lot of people away. Maybe it won't. Maybe I'm completely wrong, and maybe I'm just some stupid toxic piece of garbage online who's complaining about it but either way i'm still going to share how i feel and i wouldn't be surprised if they lost viewership if they don't whatever it is what it is uh, maybe throughout the season they'll be better but honestly i just want to finish with saying this i watched the show survivor i don't know if i will anymore uh, i probably won't talk about it anymore here but just letting you guys know it's infecting everything now you need to find alternative media go on youtube find youtubers who actually uh, speak common sense and just uh, we need to fight back against this stuff because this stuff is ridiculous. It's just that bad. It's just so freaking terrible. And I'm going to end it on this tweet right here saying, welcome to 2021 where come in guys is offensive. Any type of reality competition TV, it's dead. Uh, late night television, I've seen a lot of people say that's dead. Uh, our franchises and entertainment and Star Wars type stuff, you know, Marvel, DC, that stuff is dying. It's just all dying now. And uh, I, I don't like to say that because I still like to have a lot of hope in Star Wars, for example, uh, which is a franchise I cover on this channel mostly. And I, I still like a lot of the stuff they're doing. But I still see it coming. I still see things getting worse. And unfortunately, I just feel like it's going to get worse before it can maybe, maybe even get better. And this is the stuff that's going to die off really quickly, I would say. And then they're slowly infecting the actual entertainment wise of like fiction shows and fiction dramas and uh, stories like that Star Wars and Marvel and everything like that they're infecting that as well but this stuff is just uh, it really really irritated me this is honestly probably not something that new to like a reality television show but for me it really just struck me here like this is the next show to really just fall and collapse underneath this woke ideology that we are now under and it's just so so sad to see it really is just sad to see and I got nothing else to say I'm just super irritated